Hey everyone, this is Julie. Uh, tonight we are making a family favorite. We call it trash can nachos, but there's four of us, so I got four pans laid out right here. We're gonna start doing the chopping and everything. So let's get this going. Got the oven set for 350. Fixing to put the hamburger meat in the skillet. Okay, Randy is chopping up the meat. Turning on the stove. Want to say anything? Howdy. <laughs> and our team lost the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, Dallas sucked today. Yeah, that's okay. And then it's not. we're getting ready for these <laughs> good family nachos and going to watch Yellowstone. So it's going to be a good night anyway. Time for a cold beer. <laughs> Washing some cilantro. Wash the tomatoes. I like the tomatoes on the vine. We got the tomatoes and the cilantro. Got the cilantro all chopped up and I add uh, lime to my cilantro. There's nothing better on Mexican food than cilantro and lime. Love it. Uh, my sister loves it too. So let me get the tomatoes going and Randy is doing the refried beans. Let me see. Get over here. Got the refried beans going. We just use the old traditional refried beans, old El Paso. And then old El Paso taco seasoning too. This is a very simple meal. It fills you up real quick and the family loves it. Right, Randy? Yeah, because we got 20 minutes before Yellowstone. So <laughs> we gotta get it going. I thought it started at seven. It is, oh. it does. Okay, well that let's get this wrong. going. Brown that meat, get it going. Of, okay, uh, now we got the tomatoes cut like and the cilantro. Okay, so uh, the meat's almost done. It's a little bit pink over there still. <laughs> We're still browning. It's a <laughs> got process. Got the beans warming up. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to put the chips in the pans. And I'm feeling pretty to the top. Okay, so what are you doing now? Right, the ground beef is done. Add my water, two thirds cups of water, and my taco seasoning. Uh oh. What my scissors? You said the other night when you had him, Rick. What? Hold on one second. Okay. All right, I'm adding my taco seasoning in. Stir that around. Going to back up a little bit here. Let that cook, simmer for a little bit, and then we'll have taco meat. <laughs> okay, so we have the tomatoes, cilantro. I sliced up some avocados. We're gonna put sour cream on it. We're gonna put jalapeno peppers, and we're gonna put cheese. So we're just waiting on the meat, and then we're gonna put the meat on top of the chips and the cheese and stick them in the oven and then well, we'll put the beans on there too okay this is why we call them trash can nachos because we don't make it perfect we just slop everything on there you know it's a very simple meal quick and easy to make
Looks good already, huh? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> I guess if you like bean, in, bean nachos. Gotta have the cheese on it. I know a lot of y'all probably take the chip one at a time, but nah, we just put all ours in a pan and just slap it all together. But it's good just to sit in front of the TV and watch a good movie and eat some nachos. Yellowstone. That's what's happening, huh? How many of y'all watch that. Yellowstone? Please like and subscribe and comment who all watches Yellowstone. Okay, put that hamburger meat on there. Like I said, there's no rhyme or reason. We just put it on there. And I know it's a lot. We probably only eat about half of it. Cheese. Okay, now we're going to put the cheese on. Lots of cheese. Looking better every time. So this is the, so you have the chips, the meat, and the cheese, and then we'll stick this in the oven. <clears throat> and then wait for that cheese to melt. One more. Um, I need to turn it sideways. Okay, y'all. Don't that look great? And now we just put the toppings on. Love tomatoes. And you want to eat these with a fork. <laughs> Dob some little sour cream and some jalapeno peppers. A little salt and pepper. A dollop of sour cream. Oh, that's more than a dollop. <laughs> Jalapeno peppers. And this one is done. So if y'all make this, um, let me know in another video or comment on this one. Come back to it and tell me that you tried it out. Thanks y'all for watching. Bye.